Chapter 26 I didn't go near the lunchroom at lunchtime. I hit in a stairwell instead. My stomach was growling, but I didn't care. I couldn't bear to see all the kids gobbling down the macaroni, swallowing the little seeds that would turn them into squirrel-eating creeps. A school full of purple lizard monsters, I thought miserably, and all my fault. My fault. All afternoon, I didn't hear a word my teacher said. Iris tried to talk to me, but I pretended to be listening really hard to the teacher. I sat at my desk, studying the other kids, watching for signs that they were changing, waiting for the seeds I had planted to do their evil. But I didn't see anything odd. No bumpy purple skin, no long flicking tongues. The kids all appeared normal. After school, the four creeps were waiting for me in the playground. They surrounded me and led me to a hiding place in the woods, across the street. Ward angrily kicked the stone out of his way. David and Jared were muttering unhappily and shaking their heads. It didn't work, Bernice said softly. The seeds didn't work. No one changed. What went wrong? Ward asked. What could have gone wrong? They all stared at me. Suddenly, I knew the answer. I knew exactly why none of the kids had turned to creeps. No eat the macaroni, I blurted out. I could have kicked myself. Why didn't I tell them? Why did I tip them off? They narrowed their eyes at me. Huh? No one ever eats the macaroni, I said. I'd already started. I had to explain. It's sort of a school rule. The macaroni has been touched by anyone in years and years. All four of them groaned. Ward stepped up to me and stared at me suspiciously. How do you know that, Commander? He demanded. You arrived here only a few days before we did, so how do you know that the macaroni has been eaten in years? I had to think fast. If they discovered that I wasn't a creep, they'd probably d disintegrate me, or eat me, or something. Uh, when the kids in my class told me, I replied. I lowered my head. I should remember sooner. I have failed you. Our mission is a failure. No, it isn't, Brenda chimed in. I have more seeds, and a new plan. A better plan. The other creeps turned to her. Tell us your plan, Jared demanded. We don't have much time before the seeds lose their power. It's simple, Brenda replied with a shrug. We bake the seeds into cookies. Then we hand out the cookies for free at the school bake sale on Saturday. Excellent idea, David cried. Yay! Wart and Jared cheered. Everyone gets a free cookie, Brenda said, grinning an evil grin. And everyone becomes a creep. Brenda's grin made me feel cold all over. I swallowed hard. My mouth suddenly felt so dry. I knew that their plan would work. I knew that no one in my school could pass my free cookie. What can I do? I asked myself. How can I stop them? They all turned to me. Shall we bake the cookies, Commander? Ward demanded. Shall we put Brenda's plan to action? I stared back at them. They were eagerly waiting for my answer. I wonder if they could see my knees shaking. Well... I took a deep breath. I had to try something. I had to think of something to stop them. I don't like Brenda's plan, I said, trying to keep my voice low and steady. I think we must prepare the seeds for a later time. I think we should bury the seeds in the ground and see if they sprout. That way we'll have lots and lots of seeds. I know. I know. It was a really lame idea. But it was the only thing that popped into my mind. Would they buy it? I wondered. Would they forget about Brenda's plan and go along with it? Would they agree to bury the seeds? No way. It took me only a few seconds to realize I had made the worst mistake of my life.